Hey everyone, Nicole here. I hope you're all staying safe and well at home. My partner photographer George and myself are helping out in news, helping share our community stories. But like you, when we're not working, we are isolating ourselves. And I became one of the thousands of others who thought it was a good time to add a four-legged friend to the family. And I stress the word good. Good, right? It was a good idea. Were you a good idea? Once we got past some of the cuteness, there was a quick realization that puppies are equally fantastic and equally hard work. Sit. Can you sit? Good girl, good girl, you sit, high five. We got some of the basics out of the way early. Leash training, running, but now it was time to hit the road. We even had the great fortune of showing little Nava how to change a flat tire. Tough stuff. So as we transition into normal life, I'm pretty certain normal will now look different for all of us in many ways. During this, let's face it, strange and really difficult time for so many, I've had basically two homes. So here at Channel 5, satellite dish of Channel 5 right there, and then of course my home with my family. Here at Channel 5, the building is nearly empty, lots of people working remotely, even the studios where I sit is across the studio from my co-anchor for the noon show. Uh, so we're trying to be really safe here at Channel 5. And then at home, I live very close to the city, so there's not a lot of wide open space. Faces. I have little children, a five-year-old, an eight-year-old. They're homeschooling with my husband. And when I am home on the weekends, we just try to get out and get out some of that energy that they have pent up during the week. So we don't mind doing little drives to more isolated spots where the kids can just kind of run free. We look for fields that are empty. Uh, my son has been practicing a lot of baseball. My five-year-old learned how to ride her bike, which was the big win of this really strange time. You got it. You got it. You're doing great. You got it. And we do drive to go find empty beaches as well, which if you don't mind driving a couple hours and making sure you're away from other people, you can actually breathe in the fresh air, get a nice walk in. And I think that's done a lot to lift our spirits, to help the kids, my whole family, um, and me, of course, as well. And the other thing I've been doing, I don't know if viewers have noticed, but I've been trying to wear fun prints and bright colors. And that's been keeping me pretty upbeat. Hey everyone, during this time of social distancing and the stay at home advisory, my family, like many of your families, have been playing a lot of games and we have been doing a lot of puzzles. Yes, puzzles. And the key number in our household is 500 pieces. That seems to work really well for us. Well, we have decided as a family to take on this challenging puzzle, 1,000 piece puzzle. It's a Fenway Park. I'm a little intimidated, I won't lie. Um, a thousand pieces is beyond uh, the amount of pieces that I want to work on on a puzzle. It takes too long, I get frustrated. The pieces, let's look at these pieces, tend to be really small. I don't like a lot of small pieces. So we're gonna give this a go. We're gonna try, we're gonna do our best, but <laughs> I'm not sure if we're gonna finish. We seem to have a lot of time on our hands, so. Hopefully we can all hunker in as a family, get involved and complete this 1,000 piece puzzle. Coming up, the sounds of social distancing.